What if I told you there was a number so unimaginably big that if you were to fully comprehend its size, your brain would literally collapse into a black hole? This number is called Graham's number, and before I show you how big it is, what is a black hole, and how is it created? A black hole is formed at the end of a big enough star's life when the core collapses in on itself in what's called a supernova. In this stage, matter is compressed so densely that not even light can escape the gravitational pull. Another way of putting it is if you wanted to collapse the Earth into a black hole, you would have to compress its entire mass into the size of about this light bulb. Another thing you should know is how big a Google and a Googleplex is. A Google is 1 followed by 100 zeros, and a Googleplex is 10 multiplied by 10 Google times. Now this is the part when all the math starts getting involved, so if you don't like math, look away before I traumatize you. This right here is arrow notation, and it's just a fancy way of saying 3 to the power of 3. And that comes out to 27. Next we go with 3 arrow arrow 3. This is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And as I said earlier, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, so we're left with 3 arrow 27, which is 3 to the power of 27. This is a much bigger number, and it leaves us with 7.6 trillion, or 7 trillion 625 billion 597 million 484 thousand 987, to be exact. And now, we can talk about Graham's number. Now this is gonna get impossible to visualize very quickly, but we're gonna start with 3 arrow 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 3, and I want you to remember how big 3 arrow arrow 3 already was. So this number right here alone, is impossible to visualize and big enough to break any calculator I could find. But we're gonna continue anyway. This number right here is called G1, and this is already bigger than we can even comprehend. Next we have G2, and this is 3 with G1 arrows. And then you have G3, which has G2 arrows, and so on and so forth, until you reach G64. So this number exponentially grows at an insane rate all the way up until G64. And once you reach G64, you are now at Graham's number. And this is literally impossible to visualize, but I'm gonna try anyway. So each little speck of white you see is actually a number. And you're gonna take this screen and multiply it by 10, and then again, and then multiply it by 1000, and then multiply it by 20 million, and then multiply it by 20 million again, and then you're not even gonna be close to Graham's number.